Welcome to a video segment of the Albuquerque Police Department's 2011 Annual Report. In addressing crime that impacts our community, the Albuquerque Police Department has worked to engage a number of bi different business sectors regarding how they can work with our officers to address crime and public safety issues in our community. Law enforcement cannot be the sole solution to crime and public safety in Albuquerque or any community. We have to work with our community to be able to have the necessary eyes and ears aware of what is occurring that can impact their businesses or their neighborhoods. The Albuquerque Police Department has developed a number of public-private partnerships with our business community as proactive crime fighting methods. The four main partnerships are with our retail community, with the Albuquerque Retail Assets Protection Association, or ARAPA, our banking community with the Financial Industries Security Officers Association, or FISOA, the Construction Industry Crime Alliance, which we call SICA, and our hospitality partnership, which works with both the hotel motel community and restaurants around the city. The Albuquerque Police Department uses a system that we call Connect, which helps us to work with our community partners regarding criminal activity and suspicious activity occurring in neighborhoods. Our neighborhood block watch captains are able to, able to use the Connect system to learn about different activities that can be occurring in their communities. This alert regarding the requirements of door-to-door -door solicitors is something that helps our citizens be aware of the requirements of individuals who come from one house to the next and knock on doors trying to sell products. If somebody does come to the door and ring the doorbell, they can ask for documentation that they're authorized by the city for door-to-door -door solicitation. One interesting project that the Albuquerque Retail Assets Protection Association was involved in during 2011 was our 2011 Southwest Organized Retail Crime Conference that was held in Albuquerque and brought over 400 individuals from both retail and law enforcement from across the Southwest United States. We had folks in from Arizona, Colorado, California, New Mexico, Texas, and even other states as far away as Kansas and Washington. The Crime Analysis Unit is also part of the Strategic Support Division. In 2011, one significant project that was implemented by personnel in crime analysis was the development of predictive analytical tools. On the screen, you'll see a weekly update that is provided by crime analysis. The map looks at information and criminal activity that has occurred in the previous weeks and then represents at a certain significance level the likelihood that a crime of, similar, of a similar type will occur again in the upcoming few weeks. Here in the dark brown you will see areas that indicate that there is a significance levels of 99.9 percent .9%, which gives officers the ability to understand that if they concentrate their efforts in this area, there's a high, high likelihood that they will see similar criminal activity. The weekly crime analysis update is provided to our Field Services Bureau and Criminal Investigations Bureau personnel. These personnel look at the analytical information and can then concentrate their ever, efforts on not random patrol, but in concentrated operations to look for criminal activity that is highly likely to occur in these areas. 2011 was a very positive year for the Albuquerque Police Department, the Strategic Support Division, our public-private partnerships, and the work of the crime analysis personnel. We look forward to 2012 and the challenges that it will bring us.